Hey guys, this is the hike to High Point, which is right there. There's a really cool fire tower at the top. It's about 12 or 13 miles and a decent amount of climbing. But uh, the beginning of it's on kind of a normal trail for Cleveland National Forest, a little primitive. Um, and then the rest of it's on fire roads. It's tough, but it's doable. And the views are incredible. As you go up, you're gonna get views all the way to San Jacinto, Gorgonio, Angeles National Forest and then back down on the other side to, to the Southern Peaks in San Diego, Palomar Observatory. So fun, fun hike. If you want the directions, the maps, all that fun stuff, just go to hikingguy.com. I have a full guide to it, but otherwise here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. Let's go. So the hike starts in the parking lot just north of the fire station. This is actually the area that the uh, hotshots live in. So a lot of these houses and dorms are where the hotshot firefighters live. The trail is kind of tricky in the beginning. So if you go to the website, I have a map to kind of guide you through this maze of residential streets. But the nice thing is there's these signposts like you see on the left here um, that mark the Oak Grove Trail. And you're basically going to head sort of northwest out of the parking lot bear to the left and you're going to see these signposts like the one we just passed on the right that say Oak Grove Trail. There's another one on the left and follow the dirt road through this area. It's going to go across this little wash here. And again, there's a sign here that tells you uh, where to go and points you in the right direction. Now here you're going to bear off to the left and you can see there's another sign. And for a short while, you're going to be on a a trail trail, a real trail, not a dirt road. Um, and you can see here, this is what it looks like. It's uh, kind of indicative of what it's going to be like on the, the second section of this as well. But that ends shortly enough and you come back out to this kind of confusing area of residential and fire roads. You're going to come out of here and you're going to bear to the right. Um, you're going to bear to the right here and then you're going to keep bearing to the right till you see this sign which starts the, what I, what I call the trail trail that will bring you up the side of the mountain. Um, and eventually you'll climb up to the big mountain up ahead of you there and then high point. Now this gets uh, kind of steep in some sections, but obviously if you're going to climb, you're going to get some nice views out there. It's not terribly crazy, but there are some steep sections here. But as you go up, uh, you get some nice views and eventually you're going to come out uh, to the fire road, which is here. And uh, this goes up and down, but we're going to make the right. We're going up. We're going up all the way on this hike. We're going to make the right and keep going up the fire road. You're going to pass this gate here. It's going to keep going straight. Now, generally, I don't like hiking on fire roads, but uh, the views here are so good that it's, it's worth it. And the, the gradient's gentle. Now, here at the split, you're going to bear it to the left. You're going to bear to the left, and the road's going to kind of twist around to the south, and eventually you're going to see the fire tower off to your right there. But we're going to keep going straight, straight up to the saddle up here, and then past the saddle it descends to this little oak grove, and we're going to make the right-hand turn. And from here we kind of go around the north side of the peak and then come back down around the south side to get up there. It's a little counterintuitive. But that's what it is. You might see all the flies here. Uh, definitely want to bring some insect repellents, maybe a head net in the summer. We're going to go straight. You're going to avoid that little turn to the left. Keep going straight. There's this railing here. This is where the trail twists around to the left and west. And there's a little shady section. It's not very shaded in general, but there are some little sections like this, which end soon enough. And here at this last split, you're going to bear to the left and head up the last little stretch of the fire tower, which you'll see in a second right up there. You're also going to see um, Palomar Observatory off to your right, so keep an eye open for that. And when you get up here, there's picnic benches, um, a little interpretive display, obviously great views, and the fire tower. You can't actually climb up there, but you can uh, look up there. So that's the hike, high point. It's tough, but not too tough, and the views are spectacular. 
Now, if you're doing this on YouTube, if you could uh, do me a favor, click that little thumbs up button. That will help other people find the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. And if you're looking for the accompanying article, it is in the link in the description. Um, you can also subscribe to my channel. I have an email newsletter. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yada, yada, yada. That's all on the website. If you go there, I have links to all that stuff. Um, but yeah, stay in touch. I have lots of other guides, uh, especially in this area. There's a ton. So check out hikingguy.com. And uh, if you see me out there, please say hello. All right, I'll see you later.